welcome to Juliga Bees. This is Terry Topper Bands. I know you guys have missed me and I am back with content for you guys. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start business with your phone if you are based in Nigeria. Like I, I see my analytics and I see that this is something that a lot of you are interested in and I'm here for you guys okay so um, before now before our generation if you wanted to start business you needed to get a shop you needed to go and rent a shop pay for a shop and all of that and stock your shop with whatever items it is that you want to sell but now you don't need all that because I know that most of us don't have a lot of money, you don't have a lot of startup capital and so that going thinking about even renting a shop is definitely out of the question. Okay, so we're going to be talking about how can you start a business today with your mobile phone if you have a mobile phone. Um, you know, everybody has a mobile phone um, and especially if it's an Android phone okay a lot of us use Android phones for social media and all of that so we're just going to be talking about how you can start running your business with your mobile phone okay and I'm going to be talking about a service a company that has change the landscape of e-commerce now there are different ways you could start online businesses you could do e-commerce and i've shared a couple of them on this channel before so you may want to check out those videos i'm going to put them somewhere here but this is completely a different thing now um you could do them just give like ideas you could do your business via instagram you could do your business via facebook you could do your business via popular e-commerce sites in Nigeria like Jumia, Konga and Gigi but I'm not going to be talking about those platforms I'm going to be talking about how you yourself can create your own website without having any knowledge of coding without having to even pay for a domain name and have your e-commerce site up and running and I'm going to be talking about the Flutterwave store I've talked about how to do um, virtual cards with Flutterway before but today we are going to be talking about how you can start your business using the Flutterwave store. So Flutterwave is a, they started out as a payment company to solve the solution of Nigerians not being able to accept payment from other parts of the world because of restrictions due to fraudulent activities by certain elements in Nigeria okay you know Nigerians have a reputation for being fraudulent online so a lot of payment international payment platforms block Nigerians like you can't even if you have a legitimate business I did a video before on how to get payments with PayPal if you are based in Nigeria but the truth of the matter is that it is frustrating PayPal can block your account at any time for no reason as long as you are a Nigerian. So Flutterwave, they came out with solutions to solve that problem that you can accept payment from anywhere in the world. So if you are in Nigeria, you have your business in Nigeria, you can, people, somebody in America can pay for your goods and your services from America, somebody in London, somebody in Turkey. So we are going to be talking about how you can set up your Flutterwave store and it is completely free. It is free of charge. You don't need to pay any money to set up your store on via Flutterwave. So um, to the Flutterwave oh, website, flutterwave.com and I'm just going to be walking you through how you can set up your shop. Now, what are the features of setting up the shop? As long as what you are selling is legal, you could sell things from fashion items to food items to liquor to whatever it is that you want to sell as long as it is it is a legitimate thing and it is not illegal. Sorry about any noise you are going to be hearing. Um, so what are the features of the Flutterwave store? one you can upload your your pictures okay you can set price and they have a service that i find very 
interesting they have delivery partners you know what you one of the biggest part about e-commerce is logistics so if you have an e-commerce business you also have to think about logistics because most people just think oh i'm just going to set up my shop online and people like no you have to think about so when people buy from you how are they going to receive their products how are they going to are you going to dispatch the product to the end user so i like the fact that they were thoughtful about having delivery partners so if you want to make use of their delivery partners you can make use of their delivery partners to deliver they'll come and pick up the goods from you and deliver to your customer i think that's a fantastic feature now if you understand e-commerce and one of the reasons why i totally love the flutter wave idea flutter wave store idea is that you are not paying for listing like on many international platforms when you list your product to be sold because you are doing business you have to pay listing fees i'm not going to mention any particular platform but if you, if you do your research it's just standard practice but with flutterwave you are not paying any listing fee you are not paying anything and i don't know if that's going to change in the future but for now it is free so you can list your your products without paying any listing fee okay that's something that is really very commendable so how do you but the downside to the flutterwave store is that you have to promote your store by yourself unlike on some other platforms that when you put your product on their on their platform they can promote your products for you but on flutterwave platform you have to do the promotion by yourself but you can send your links you can do ads um, I've talked about how you can do ads before on this channel so check it out but I'm going to be creating like a series on how you can promote your product and all of that but you have to send your links to people to check out what is on your shop so instead of so a lot of us use whatsapp i've talked about doing business via whatsapp before but instead of you just putting pictures on on your whatsapp profile every day you can just list out put all the list out your product on the flutter wave store okay and send a link to whoever you want to and they can see everything that is displayed in your shop so if you have 100 um, items in your shop people can see it so they know okay the description so you don't have to be repeating yourself over and over and over again so it's a fun flutter wave store is a fantastic way to start your business with your phone without any all you just need is your inventory and if you don't even have those inventory let me give you guys like a little idea you can go to somebody who has the stuff take the pictures get the description and begin to promote your business so i'm just going to be walking you through how you can set up your store on the flutterwave platform okay so um what you need to do is to go to flutterwave website www.flutterwave.com and you just go so when you go to www.flutterwave.com it's going to bring out the different things that the platform does all right sorry about the external noise that you guys may be hearing right now um, so when you go to the Flutterwave store, so let me show you guys what you are going to expect and all that you need to do. When you go to, you are going to see on the screen create an account. If you don't have the <coughs> Flutterwave, to be able to use the Flutterwave store, you need to create an account first of all because um, so you click on create an account I already have an account but I'm just going to be working through what to do so when you have my screen is loading so it's going to ask you to put your details and all of that to sign up so you know how to sign up now it's just the normal way that you sign up when you want to sign up for any online service so yeah um, let's just the internet is quite slow so you're just going to sign up and so it's going to ask you let's get you started with your flutterwave account so you need to insert your full name your trading name 
your email address what country is your business based because flutterwave you can set up a flutterwave account practically anywhere in the world norway poland portugal like anywhere in the world you can set up a flutterwave account referral code so if you don't have a flutterwave store you can check the description box and click on my code to set up your shop it's so simple it's free for you but i get a commission all right then you choose your password and you get started like that's it guys that's basically everything so now that is if you do not have a flutterwave account but if you have a flutterwave account if this is not the first time that you are making use of flutterwave what you need to so after you create your account after your account has been created inside your account they are going to be asking you for bvn details and all of that because those are like standard procedure when you have created your account let me go into my normal account and sign in you would so before now you know you could if you don't know let me just tell you guys before now you could make use of flutterway payments and payment link that's a different video entirely that i would do but that's something that you could do with the flutterway platform so yeah so if you have your account when you go into your account you will see that on the is it the left hand menu because you already have the name of your business and all of that you will see the different fu functionalities and features that your flutter wave account gives to you but that's not what we are here to do today we are concentrating on the store because you could pay for your airtime you could pay for your dstv you could pay for anything with your flutterwave account and you could also set up payment links this is different from your store right but let's go to your store you want to create a store and they are going to be asking you what your store is about give a description of what you are going to be selling and all of that let me just do like i want to create a new business so they are going to ask you for your business name all right your business email and the type of business that you are going to be running so once you input that you create your business then they are, they're going to ask you to describe what that business is about your account details and you just have to impute all of that so when you have done that okay if you now want to set up like to set up your shop up and running proper you will see a place where they say add product so when you click add product you have to upload pictures of your products now this video is not about how to do um, product photography and all of that but you have to put your pictures set the pricing describe what the product is about um, if you are going to be making use of their delivery partners and all of that and set your price and start listing your product i would suggest that you have like from 10 to 15 products listed so that you know that yes you are really in business okay so once you've done that you are you can get your your what's it called a link to your shop okay i have a shop there so i'll just put my link to my shop so you can see what i'm talking about so that's basically it. so business has started so it's now up to you to promote your stuff promote what it is that you're selling so that's how you can start a business from your phone making use of the flutter wave store i hope this video has been educative you've learned something if you haven't given this video a thumbs up what are you waiting for what are you waiting for give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't joined our family here join this family um, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to put this video in a playlist. It's going to be a series So watch everything in the series. Okay share with your friends Somebody may just need this information badly. Okay to go from being unemployed to being a productive Nigerian individual. So thank you so much guys. I will see you in my next one. Bye